Hey everyone, so a lot of you want to see a comparison of how Android 7.0 Nougat on Sony Xperia XZ stacks up against Android Marshmallow, uh, this Android 6 on the Sony Xperia X performance. So this is going to be a quicker video than normal, but we're going to start off by powering both phones on at the same time. Now I just finished doing a speed test comparison, or rather I just finished doing a um, comparison between Android Nougat and Android Marshmallow with these two phones. If you want to check it out, I outline all the differences between the two. And this video is going to be more of a speed test comparison. Now both phones in terms of internals pretty similar, both Snapdragon 820, both 3 gigabytes of RAM. And there are some differences I'll discuss throughout the video, but again in terms of internals, both pretty similar. Uh, the X performance came out a few months before the Sony Xperia XZ, which came out last month. Alright, so first test here, boot up. As you see, the XZ first one to boot up. And we're just going to go over the app page. Alright. And now the X performance is up. Alright, so everything's closed down on both. Alright guys, so in this test we're going to be doing app opening, game opening, uh, web browsing, camera speed, and multitasking. So first up, let's take a look at Tumperon 2. Now the screen on the Sony Xperia XZ is slightly larger at 5.2 inches versus 5.0 on the Sony Xperia X performance. As you see here, it looks like the XZ is going to be the first one to load up by about a second or two. Yeah, by about two, three seconds. All right. Next up, CNN. And as usual guys, this is one of those apps that is pretty slow. And they might do it in second just because uh, it does sometimes take a while to load up. A little bit harder for it. But then sometimes this app doesn't work. Let's give it a few more seconds. Alright, so you see there, first one is EXZ. So both phones have front-facing cameras of 13 megapixels. Uh, both phones have rear-facing cameras of 23 megapixels. Although rear-facing uh, on the Sony Xperia XZ does have some improvements like image stabilization as CDX performance is up as well. Alright, so next up we're going to go to CNN. Pretty close. I think that was about a tie. I funny. Alright, so I think that may have been a little bit faster on the X performance, although not much of a difference. YouTube next. A little bit faster on the XZ. Calculator. About the same. Clock. eBay. XZ. Alright, uh, Asphalt 8. And once I have my Sony Xperia X performance upgraded to um, Android and it will provide an update video. Still hasn't been pushed out to my region unfortunately. And you see here again XZ. Actually I do have to upgrade that on the Xperia X performance next time. Um, Alright so next up is Photos. Again XZ. ESPN. And this along with CNN, really slow loading app. And interesting, looks like ESPN stopped there on the X performance. Haven't had that happen before. But you see I go back and it should work. Alright, so we'll just go to a few more. Uh, next up is settings. Into the benchmark. So yeah guys, you are going to get better results on the Sony Xperia XZ here. The X performance score of 138,000. Uh, the XZ, actually I do have to rerun this on Android N. Uh, actually, I guess I'll probably do a, a video on that. But you see a score of 146K. Um, next up, let's do Chrome. All 
All right, so we're just gonna do a few apps or rather a few sites. And then after that, we're gonna do camera speed and multitasking. So let's look at some of the other differences between the two. Um, just one second. So you see at the bottom of the phone on the Sony Xperia X performance, uh, on this one, you have micro USB. On the XZ, you have USB Type-C. So, you know, just some newer things like that you have on the XZ. Um, in addition to that, you have a larger battery on the XZ, 2800 versus 2700 on the X performance. Um, as I mentioned, the screen on the XZ is already larger, 5.2 inches versus 5.0 on the X performance. Both are the same resolution, 1080p. Um, both 32 or 64 gigabytes internal storage, micro SD card support. And both have stereo speakers, both waterproof, both fingerprint scanners. Now, oh, oh yeah, and one other thing, the XZ does have the ability to uh, record in 4K mode. The X performance is not. Now, the XZ at this point is around 650. Uh, you can get the X performance for around 100 less than that. Personally, I do think that the um, upgrades on the XZ are worth it, although not that much of a difference. For some people, it may not be. All right, so let's go on to some websites. Uh, let's just go to IGN.com. All right, so that was a little bit faster. Should we hold on? Still voting? All right, so a little bit faster on the XZ as you saw. Next up, let's do Nintendo. Yeah, so Wi-Fi not that fast today, as you guys can see. Usually it is faster than this. And now in a little bit faster, we'll take on DX Performance. All right, and one last one. Let's just go to a site I've not been to in either one. Uh, let's go to... Let's go to Uncharted. Actually, let's go to Naughty Dog. So yeah, guys, personally, I would rec uh, would recommend the Sony Xperia XZ uh, between these two phones. If you want to spend the extra $100 or so, I definitely think it's worth it. Although, really, you can't go wrong either way. Both are great phones. I just do prefer the XZ. All right, so a little bit faster on the X performance. Um, in terms of web browsing, I mean, it, it, it can be really random. Like if I just go to, let's go to Android Authority. Actually, how about this AndroidAuto.com? All right, <laughs> never mind. Um, let's just do some multitasking, and then we'll do camera speed. Going back to the beginning, so both really fast. Sorry, I was not sure if you can hear that sound in the background. It's really annoying. All right, it was just the heater going off, but as you saw there, a little bit faster on the XZ. And let me just go to a couple more iFunny. So again, a tad bit faster on the XZ on Android N. You do. About the same. Uh, eBay. Again, pretty similar. And we'll just do one more. Let's just do photos. All right, so you can see, I mean, the multitasking is a tad bit faster on the XZ. Not much of a difference, but still clearly a little bit of a difference in masks to camera. And 
you can snap some pictures with both phones. Gonna put both on 23 megapixels. Alright, so it looks like the XZ is a little bit faster. Alright, so interesting results here. Um, clearly, the Sony Xperia XZ uh, did win the majority of this. Now, the only thing, I think the only thing it did not win was in terms of Chrome, although it did win with one of the sites. Uh, I mean, it can be really random, as you probably know. Let me just try one more site. Let me just go to Kodaku. Oh, actually, that was Kohl's. Let's do one more. Let's do Kodaku. Sorry, guys. <laughs> now this is dragging on a little bit. Kodaku. All right. So last site here, Kodaku. So yeah, not much of a difference. Um, let me just do one last one, mostly Sony.com. All right, so Sony.com. So as you see here, a little bit faster on the XZ. I mean, obviously it's pretty random, a little bit mixed results um, in terms of Chrome, but in terms of everything else, you saw that it was faster for the most part on the Sony Xperia XZ, although the X performance did win some of the apps uh, for the most part. So I'm not really sure if it's a matter of, um, you know, if it's a matter of Android N, if it's a matter of Android N versus Marshmallow, if it's the XZ versus the X performance, but either way, pretty interesting results. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will be doing a rematch once I have the Sony Xperia X performance on Android N. And so yeah, thanks again for watching and let me know in the comments what video you want to see next.